Hey, what's going on, guys? Tanmay here for Telusco Learnings, and in this video tutorial, we're gonna be continuing with our regular expressions in JavaScript. So, in the previous video of this tutorial series, we took an introduction to regular expressions, and we saw a very basic regular expression in JavaScript. So, in this video, we're gonna be looking at character set and ranges in regular expression. So, we're gonna be enhancing the functionality of regular expression basically. And just to give you an overview of what we did in the previous video, so in the previous video, we had this form. We had an input tag which is the text box. This is that text box username. We have a button and on click of that button, we are calling validate function. So this is a basic button. It is not a submit button. So that's why we are not getting redirected to next page. So in fact, you can even remove this form tag. Actually, it's not really important over here. We are just looking at regular expressions. And anyways, coming back to the function in the function, what we are doing is we were taking the input from the text box into this username variable. And then we were creating a regular expression object. So this is the second way. Let me just show you what we did over there. So this was what we did in the first video. That is we created a regular expression variable and we passed a basic regular expression string. So what we are doing is we are looking for E00 in the string. Okay. So if there is E00 and then something or anything else, and if you click on submit, we should be getting an alert, but I have commented it over here. So let me just change it. So again, typing E00 in some text, if I click on submit, I'm getting valid username. However, if I don't have this E00 in the entire string and if I click on submit, I'm getting invalid username. Okay. So this was the functionality that we did in the previous video also. And what we were doing is we were just checking if the entire string has E00. So no matter what the location is, even if this E00 is at the end, it is still a valid username because this string is being found in the entire string, right? So this is what we were checking for. So this is a very basic functionality of regular expressions and regular expressions can do a lot more than this. We can check for a particular character at a particular location. We can check for a range of characters and we can also check for different patterns. So let's try to improve or enhance this feature now. So before we start off, this is another way in which you can go ahead and create regular expressions. So in the previous video, we were doing this. So let me just comment it out. And this is another way in which you can create a regular expression object. This is basically in the object oriented way, wherein we use the new keyword. We say the reg XP. So this is an inbuilt constructor, which constructs the regular expression object. We pass the string that we want to check for, and then we can pass the flags. Okay. So the flags were case insensitive, global, multi-line and so on and so forth. So we saw that on the website also. So we'll see that in a minute. So this part is actually optional. You can have it or you can omit it. But yeah, usually what happens is we don't use this object oriented way. We just use this simple way. And this is what we're going to be following as of now. So talking about character sets. So let's say your requirement for validation is a little complex. Okay. So you don't want to check for a string having E00. Now you want to have simple in your entire string. So as long as simple is not typed. So if I say SMP, so this is invalid. If I type simple, I get a pop-up valid username. Okay. So this is something that we are doing in the previous video also. But now let's say the first character of this entire string that we are checking for can be simple or some other character also that is S can be opted with some other character also. So in that case, you can give a character set, which means that this I M P L E has to be same, but this S can be changed to some other character or some other number or, or any other character that you want. So in that case, you can give a character set, which is defined by square brackets. So in the square brackets, I can say it can be S. It can be D or it can be P. Okay. So the first letter of this entire string can be S, D or P, but it has to be followed by I M P A D. Okay. So if I say simple, it is a valid username. Now, if I replace this S with D, it becomes dimple and I'm just using it. For example, there is no real meaning to this. If I click on this again, I'm getting valid username. And if I replace it with P, it becomes pimple. Again, this is just an example. And if I click on submit again, this is a valid username. But if I replace it with something else, let's do H and it doesn't mean anything. This word doesn't have any meaning. But if I submit on this, you can see I'm now I'm getting invalid username. So you can see I just gave a range of options for the first character. So this is that character set, which is defined in square brackets. Now let's say your character set is large. Okay. So you want to give a character set from A to X. So you'll be like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, N. You can type it till X, but that does not make sense, right? That is a tedious process and you can make some errors in that. So this is where the range comes into picture. So I can say A to X. 
So any character between a to x is allowed. Other than that, it is not allowed. So if I say a i m p l e, if I click on submit, this is a valid username. In fact, you know what? Let's just change this i m p l e to some number. I'll say zero zero. So the first character has to be between a to x followed by zero zero. So this is something that we are looking for in the string. So if I say a double zero, it is valid. If I say b double zero, again it is valid. But if I say z double zero, then this is an invalid because z does not come in this a to x range, right? And again, this is not specific to start of the string or end of the string. So by this I mean I can have Tanmay space Sakpal space a zero zero, and this is still valid because we are just looking for a zero zero or this pattern in the entire string. So if I submit, you can see I'm getting valid username. Again, this a zero zero can be in between somewhere, and if I submit, this is again valid username. So here we have not specified that we want this a zero zero at the start or at the center or at some particular position. We are just saying that we want this pattern in the entire string. If it is there, then it is valid. Otherwise, it is invalid. Okay. Also, when I say a zero zero, if I change this small a to capital A, this is again invalid because our range is from small a to small x. So what if I want capital A to capital X also? So in that case, either I can do case insensitive if I Put a flag of i over here, and I see a double zero. If I see a double zero, now it is going to be valid username. Or instead of using this flag, what I can do is inside the character set square brackets, I can see a to x in small, and then I can again see a to x in all caps also, without giving any space. Or you can give space also; it's not mandatory. But now if I see a double zero, and if I hit submit. You can see I am getting valid username even when I have capital A. Okay, so these are the two different ways in which you can add the feature of case insensitive functionality. Now again, you can also have a number range. So let's say you want a number over here. So I can say zero to nine. So the first character or the first letter has to be a number, and then you can have some pattern over here. Let's say A B C. So here, if I say one A B C, this is valid. If I say Tanmay one A B C, Sakpal. Again, this is also valid because we have that one ABC which is matching with this regular expression, right? Now let's say my characters are from zero to five, okay? And if I say six ABC, so even though we have ABC, the first character six is not falling in the zero to five range, right? So this is going to be invalid. So this is range and character set. Now you can have multiple character sets also. So let's say this you want zero to five, then you want a A, and then you again want another character set. Which is from six to nine, okay. So now this is becoming a little complex. So in the username, if you have something like five, which is okay, which is falling in our first character requirement, then we have a, then we have number six to nine, right? So if I say six, and then I have c, so this is valid. But now if I change this six to zero, so this zero is not falling under six to nine, right? So this is going to be invalid. So there you go. You can see we are getting invalid. So this is where you can specify particular character sets at particular locations, and you can also give ranges. So the, for the last one, you can have a range of letters. You can say A to Z. So now you can make it even more complex, and this is how you can use these character sets and ranges. So one last thing I wanted to show you is what if you want to exclude certain things. Okay. So let's just first erase this all, and let's say A B C. So let's say you want to exclude a number. So in that case, you have to use this caret sign, which is like an arrow up, which is pointing upwards, and you have to type in whichever characters you want to exclude at the first position. So I don't want number one, I don't want a, I don't want b, and I don't want c. So if I say one a b c, so one is something that we don't want at the first location, right? So if I click on submit, I'll get invalid username. But if I say two a b c, so two is not there in this character set, right? And a b c is there, so this is something that is compulsory over here. So now if I click on submit, this is a valid username. So using this caret sign, you can exclude certain things that you don't want at a particular position. So you can give a range also. Let's say I see A to Z. So I don't want any character which is A or A to Z. So I cannot have A A B C. If I submit, I'm getting invalid. So I can have numbers or special characters at the first location. If I say at the rate A B C, this is a valid username. If I say one A B C, this is valid. But the moment I enter a particular character which is from A to Z at the first position, that is A A B C, this becomes invalid. So this is how you use this caret sign. 
Okay, so that's it for this video, guys. I just wanted to talk about character sets and ranges in regular expressions. We are slowly progressing in regular expressions. We will still see a few more examples in regular expressions and how we can have a different varieties in regular expressions in further videos. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Do share it with your friends. Let me know in the comments how this video was and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.